Hello everyone. You are now watching the first video of the straight line series. But before talking about straight lines, let's talk about something else. In your class 10th, you had a chapter called coordinate geometry, right? Straight lines is basically an extension of it. So if you know coordinate geometry, then straight lines is going to be very easy. And that's why we'll start this series with a recap of coordinate geometry. His Tejesh Kalaki from Tupai Academy. Now let's get started. The contents of this video. We'll first start with what is coordinate geometry. And then we'll see some formulas in coordinate geometry like the distance formula, section formula, etc. And then we'll see some example problems. You may already know about geometry, but what is coordinate geometry? Coordinate geometry is basically a combination of algebra and geometry. Algebra deals with symbols and expressions like x, y, 2x plus 3, etc. Whereas geometry deals with shapes and their properties like lines, circles, triangles, etc. The study of these shapes by the help of expressions is called coordinate geometry. But how can we study shapes by the help of expressions? Let's see. In coordinate geometry, whatever the shape we are studying, we study it on a particular plane called XY plane or the Cartesian plane. In this plane, there are two axes, the X axis and the Y axis. Every point on the plane is represented by a pair of coordinates x, y. The x coordinate represents the position of the point along the x axis and the y coordinate represents the position of the point along the y axis. The x coordinate may also be known as abscissa and the y coordinate as the ordinate. Now we will see some of the formulas in coordinate geometry. We will start with the distance formula. Suppose there are two points on the plane Px1, y1 and Qx2, y2. Then the distance between these two points is given by Pq is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This seems to be a complicated formula, so I might be afraid by seeing this. But trust me, this is one of the simplest formulas. Don't trust me? Well then, we'll see its derivation. Then you'll say that it's easy. We will start with the xy plane or the Cartesian plane. And then we add the two points px1, y1 and qx2, y2. And we need the distance between them, that is pq. Now for point p, the abscissa is x1 and the ordinate is y1. Similarly, for point Q, the abscissa is x2 and the ordinate is y2, which we can represent as in this figure. Now, this is all the given information. Now, we will add a horizontal line PR as follows. Now, if you observe carefully, the triangle PQR is a right angle triangle. When talking about right angle triangles, you will remember a theorem called Pythagoras theorem. According to this theorem, the hypotenuse squared is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. That is, in this case, according to the Pythagoras theorem, we get PQ squared is equal to PR squared plus QR squared. Now we just need to find the lengths PR and QR. If you observe carefully, the length PR will be equal to this side over here. Now the length of this edge is equal to x2 minus x1. So therefore PR is equal to x2 minus x1. Similarly QR will be equal to this edge over here which is equal to y2 minus y1. Therefore we get QR is equal to y2 minus y1. By substituting this in the Pythagoras theorem we get PQ squared is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared which means that pq is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This is our required formula. 
will now see an example problem find the distance between the points p1 comma 2 and q4 comma 6 we know that the distance between two points is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole squared plus y2 minus y1 whole squared now if we apply this formula to the two points we get pq is equal to x2 minus x1 that is equal to 4 minus 1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared that is equal to 6 minus 2 squared so therefore we got square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared so you get 5 therefore the required length pq is 5 units the second formula is the section formula in a plane imagine there are two points p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 and we need to find a point r that divides pq internally in the ratio m is to n in other words pr divided by qr will be equal to m by n now according to the section formula the abscess of r will be equal to m x2 plus n x1 by m plus n similarly the y coordinate or ordinate is equal to m y2 plus n y1 by m plus n we will now see an example problem on section formula find a point r that divides p1 comma 2 and q7 comma 5 in the ratio 1 is to 2 now according to the section formula we know that the abscess is equal to m x2 plus n x1 by m plus n that is m x2 that is 1 into 7 plus n x1 that is 2 into 1 by m plus n that is 1 plus 2 so therefore abscissa of r is equal to 3 similarly the ordinate of r is equal to m y2 plus n y1 by m plus n that is 1 into 5 plus 2 into 2 by 1 plus 2 so therefore the ordinate of r is also equal to 3 therefore the point r is equal to 3 comma 3 this is our required point there is a special case of the section formula called the midpoint midpoint is a point that divides a line segment equally that is in the ratio 1 is to 1 suppose there are two points p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 and we need to find their midpoint by using the section formula the abscess of the midpoint will be equal to 1 into x2 plus 1 into x1 by 1 plus 1 that is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 similarly the ordinate of midpoint will be equal to 1 into y2 plus 1 into y1 by 1 plus 1 that is equal to y1 plus y2 by 2 therefore the midpoint of the points p and q will be equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 we'll see an example let p1 comma 1 and q3 comma 5 be two points now we need to find their midpoint therefore midpoint will be equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 that is 1 plus 3 by 2 comma 1 plus 5 by 2 therefore we get midpoint of pq is equal to 2 comma 3 we'll now see the last formula we are going to discuss that is the area of a triangle now there is a plane and suppose there are three points on the plane a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 and c x3 y3 and we need to find the area of the triangle abc area of the triangle abc is half modulus of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 now this is very long formula right therefore we'll use a trick to remember it easier if you observe carefully there is a cycle 1 2 3 in here like x1 y2 minus y3 and x2 y3 minus y1 and x3 y1 minus y2 therefore if you remember it using this cycle it will be easier this is all for this video thanks for watching in the next video we are going to discuss straight lines slope of straight lines and some other topics